Hi YouTube, welcome to Native Explorer. We are in Hong Kong and today we have a really cool episode. We are going to visit Anish Kapoor exhibition. What do you guys think about this fish eye lens? I quite like it and I think it's very appropriate for today's episode because Anish Kapoor is well known in the world for using mirrors to explore the void of space which is kind of like what this lens does it's kind of like construe reality and give it a different perspective which I think is quite cool People are friendly in Hong Kong. Switch back to the regular wide lens. What do you guys think? You see reality differently now? The exhibition is located at Pedar Building in the middle of Central. I'm walking in there right now. Walking into the gallery now. This is called right angle triangle twist and it is made of stainless steel. Check out this cool mirror. changing colors and it's changing the reflection, flipping the reflection. Feel like you're falling, right? down to make sure I wasn't gonna fall into it. Yeah, <laughs> which is cool because you fall into like a different reality. Into a different zone. Yeah. yeah. Vertigo, a concave mirror on one side and a convex mirror on the other side. This is my second favorite and it's really cool. It's changing your feature as you walk along. This is really cool. From this side you look fat and from the other side you look skinny. It's a sea of, of, uh, of red, but it's like art. My, my red trousers has become art. It's, and then there's those roses, there's those flowers, and it's reflected. 
it in a very surreal way. And uh, it's disorienting. Disorienting. Yes. <laughs> and yet it's very clear. What do you think this thing is? So this is called the clip and it's made of stainless steel. They have this object two times, one in this color and the other one is with that color. So after looking at it, I think it's a seashell. But there was a guy here who told me that this is a female organ, like a reproductive female organ. So I'm reading Wikipedia, and apparently Anish Kapoor told about an exhibition he held in a palace in French that he described the work as the vagina of a queen who is taking power, quote unquote. Not me saying, only he said it. So, the guy might be right. I checked the name of the piece and the name is Hysterical Sexual. It's made of fiberglass and gold, but based on the name, it might definitely be a female reproductive organ. So what do you guys think of the exhibition? Um, I don't like to use like American words like awesome and mind-blowing, but right now that's all that comes to mind. Yeah. What do you think of the exhibition? Well, this is awesome. Uh, I came to Hong Kong not because of the exhibition, but I saw on the art maps and I have to come here. I have to see by my eyes. Wow, cool. If you're around here, you have to come. What do you think about this piece? Well, I know she has a lot of stuff in um, Chicago. I've been a big fan. So I think it's great. They curated it well. Do you like the exhibition? Yes, I do. <laughs> what, uh, what do you think this piece is? It looks like a candy. Like a candy? Right. Cool. <laughs> This is the end of the show. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's do the Native Explorer Experience Gauge. Education, three out of four stars. You really learn a lot about art. And if you like art and appreciate like me, then this is a learning experience. Adrenaline Rush, 2.5 out of four stars. Even three out of four stars when you reach this mirror, it kind of makes you feel disoriented and dizzy, like you're falling into another space, another reality, which is not something common to expect from art, but I guess this is what makes art beautiful. Fun level, three out of four stars, it's really engaging art, so I would definitely give it three out of four stars. Must do if you are on, in Hong Kong, three out of four stars. Admission is free, and total time, 15 to 20 minutes is more than enough.